Hey Wastelanders, welcome back to The Last Ranger, and I'm your host, Gary. So, this is episode 15 of the Keeper series. So, I do these videos in the Keeper series in a, a series of three videos, usually. Uh, I shoot them roughly all the, the, at the same time, maybe a day apart. And uh, I like to include at least one of them being American made so this is my American made this time this is the buck paradigm shift and this is the fully automatic fully automatic knife version this there is an assisted version and the way you can tell them apart the assisted version has a flipper tab so if this was assisted rather than auto i think how it works this shift mechanism clicks up and you see a, a you see a flipper tab and when you flip it this uh mechanism shifts down and it opens and i think there would be a flipper tab extended a little ways down there but I opted for the fully automatic version. I wanted a clean look rather than a like a have a flipper tab exposed. I think it looks better with a flipper delete or not not a flipper showing. So so I'm going to show you like a, a a knife that has a flipper, but what I mean is a flipper that doesn't show once it's launched. So you can see the flipper disappears. I like that. Get on with the, the specs of the knife. This is an S35 VN steel. It's a G10 tan scales. It has a back spacer. I don't know what the back spacer is made of, honestly. I think it's uh, not, I th it's not brass. It's probably just a coated steel or a coated aluminum it's, it's pretty it's pretty light so i know it's not plastic but i don't know what it's made of honestly this uh the bolster has a coating on that too yeah it's a nice knife nice looking knife and yeah it's a i think it's a cerakote i think it's a cerakote that's probably a cerakote on this backspacer too I don't know what color it is. It's it's kind of uh, brownish, tannish. I like it. It's a good combination with this cerakoted pivot. I think this is a handsome uh, handsome knife. So it's like a sort of a button lock, button lock auto. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you guys. Just look closely, and you see it plunge. Yeah, I don't know how it works because I've never opened it. I'm kind of afraid to open it. I don't want to ruin it. Like, I'll probably open it uh, if it needs maintenance. But so far, it's it's great. So it has a hollow grind. That that was what captured me too. It's a sweet sweet drop point blade, but I was really drawn to it for this hollow point hollow point hollow point grind so i like the swedge up above and if you can see there this is a 591 model and i think the plus i was told is reminiscent of the year it was made maybe i, I don't know if I, I got that right so it's definitely made in the uh, usa and on the other side it's S35VN with the Boz treatment. Anyway, has a reversible deep carry clip. You can see it's attached uh, on the bottom, but you could flip it either way, which is nice. Some people need to just do more of this type of clip. I mean, it's deep carry and the uh, worry about uh, attaching it on the bottom. I don't know why more people do, don't do that. Maybe it's they think it's a cheap look. I, for me, it's on this knife is a great look. 
So it's and it's easy to flip the not or flip the clip. With all bucks, they carry the forever warranty, and I've never experienced a forever warranty. I hope to not ever. I, I hope to have my buck knives like really good. But if I do, I'll let you guys know if I uh, ever experience the forever warranty and have to send a buck in. I'll do a video on it uh, before and after and talk about the the results which reminds me I, sh I have a buck 112 Ranger I should have sent that one in for a forever warranty because they must up the, the thumb stud <laughs> but that's enough for another day I just wanted to introduce you guys to the buck 591 paradigm shift and uh, I just wanted to mention uh, at SHOT Show 2023 they're releasing uh, the, the the assisted version all over again but it's like a, a very fancy it's like it uh, comes with Damascus uh, blade I think it comes with ivory G10 scales and some some other kinds of stuff. I haven't really looked it up. I just looked at the, the video and some pictures, and you can have it for $5.99. <laughs> I don't know. It's rained up Damascus. Maybe that makes it so much more expensive. But personally, I found my version of the Buck Paradigm. I, I wouldn't. I would not spend $5.99 for it. I know uh, some hardcore people out there would, but I'm not that hardcore to spend that much money. This was a grail knife for me. You know, I can't explain grail knives accurately, but do you always, you, do you come across a knife and you just, it hit, hits something in your brain and you just like you lust for it you lust 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 this is a knife that I lusted for and I think it's maybe I don't know a $200 knife uh, I paid less than $200 because I found it on sale I think I paid $50 less and you know for me uh, even $150 is a lot for a knife but I, I I just had to have it so it's just a, a really good looking knife it's a handsome knife I like how it feels in my hand I like carrying it I, I carry it all the time you know I I ne never done a, any hardcore cutting with it but I really love the knife but I don't baby it if I need to if I have it on me and I need to cut something like e even a box or a piece of rope or, or a person <laughs> I would not, not hesitate to use it so this is a keeper for me and I don't know if what do you guys think let me know what you guys think of this knife I mean do you you think it's a handsome knife like me or you could care less <laughs> alright guys I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, stick with me uh, I'll uh, I got three more lined up um, on the Keeper series, and I will be dropping them here or there. But I'm going to focus on some knives I've never reviewed, maybe, before the, the, I introduce these three other three Keepers. Or just mix them up, mix them in between. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. Take care, Wastelanders.